Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Well, Mark and I are on the hot seat again today. We are going to rate the best sidekicks. And I, I will say, you both, you're both a C. <laughs> I'm the hero. <laughs> I'll take C. All right, Paul, what do you got for us here? Okay, so I have a list of 16 sidekicks found on the internet, a very authoritative site. Uh, so what we're gonna do is right off the bat, you're gonna start by agreeing to eliminate one of them. Okay. And then we're gonna be left with three sidekicks per category, going from S, which is the best, D, which is the worst. Okay. All right. So obviously this is not about being a hero, this is about who you enjoyed more. Or who was the best sidekick? Most helpful sidekick to the character? If, if you want to include that, that's up to you. But maybe you thought Dory was really funny. She's not very helpful. So we're going we're gonna to start at D level. And these are the worst of the list. Although they might still be epic. This is who we don't think should be at the top. And I'm going to keep track of how many people in the same category you guys have, yeah. where you align. Okay. okay. And also, you asked us to eliminate one. Yes. Because it was going to be three per category, and we chose Frenchie from, from Greece. Greece. Yeah, because I didn't really a... see Frenchie as a sidekick, just a character in the show. Well, the Pink Ladies was a gang, and Rizzo was kind of, uh, she was kind of rough around the edges, and she added but, that but element she... of femininity, right, to the Pink Ladies. See, I would have thought it, as, as a sidekick, it would have been more his sidekick like the other member of the gang who can't Danny who, Danny, who can't no Danny Zoko yeah. is the main guy who's the other one I forget his name uh, but he, he he's the one who couldn't drive but he was his best friend and they yeah, yeah, they yeah, built yeah, the yeah. car together I would think he's more a sidekick than Frenchie in or Greece. is Frenchie kind of a sidekick to, to Rizzo <laughs> no, to uh, <laughs> Olivia Newton-John's care Sandy Sandy uh, so she helps her along to get the guy at the end mm. Well, she dresses. She helps change her outfit. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I yeah. I didn't see her as a big sidekick. No. Yeah, she's no. out of here. She's more of a side. Here. More of a side character. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right. What do you What do you got, Mark, for uh, your category D? Okay, category B. I got Wilson, the volleyball. Believe it or not, I did not put Wilson. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was tempted, but I didn't. Uh, I got Dory. I got Dory. Yeah. We and have I, a match. And I've got Mater. I have Mater. Two Disney sidekicks gone. Yeah, yeah. out of there already. I so we got two of them there. We got two. two yeah. Okay. I, I don't know. Like Mater at the time that the movie came out was so hilarious. Dory was epic as well. Sure. Yeah, but I'm thinking as an actual side character to the main character is how I'm looking at it. Yeah. And I would have put I would have put the older car. Yes. Yeah, okay. I would have. But they're sidekicks. Yes, that's the role they play in the movie. But. We're talking about our enjoyment this time of the site. Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at it. My list doesn't change. My list is staying there. Okay. I actually put R2-D2 down. Really? Because, okay. again, I would say Han Solo is more the sidekick of Luke Skywalker or vice versa. But than how did you R2. enjoy R2-D2? Not as much. Like, yes, so it's R I'm R2-D2 and C-3PO. I'm R2-D2. You know? <laughs> but, I mean, they're just there. They're not like, beep, 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 and he, you know, once in a while he does something cute. But, you know, it, it's not a side character to me. I, I had you take, you take the robots out of it, and it's still the same story. Okay. In a way. So I, no, yeah. How I, upset I can... would Han Solo be if you found out he was a sidekick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you got to put two ticks, not two just ticks, one. Yeah. Two we ticks, yeah. We have two okay. matches. That's a rarity, but. Yeah. All right. What do you got for C? Okay. We're not too far off because I've got R2D2 in C. All huh? right. Okay. Uh, I've got Trinity. Okay. From the Matrix. Yep. And I've got Samwise. Mm. Samwise? Yeah. Samwise. Yeah. The guy who helped Frodo destroy the ring. That's it. The guy who saved all of Middle Earth. Right. Okay. He's short. Gotcha. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Racist? He's tall height. <laughs> that, that's why he's all zero. <laughs> Although their feet are the same size. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
Uh, I have Wilson, so not too far off. Okay. One category difference. But I also, I put Goose down there. Hmm. I do like Goose character in that. Uh, as a side, I don't know. There's other characters I thought were more of a sidekick than he was. Goose really wasn't impactful or there very long. And you have him above Dory, R2-D2, yes. and Mater. Yes. Okay. And, but he's still very low on my list. And Inko. Or did, or did, uh, from Princess Bride. Uh, and Inigo Montoya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he he has a great line. And he, has and great, he, and great he, and he goes with line. him and everything. Mm -hmm. I don't I almost thought of him as a co star as opposed to a side But kid. how did you enjoy him in the movie? Yes, but I'm you asked me to rate side no, kicks. No, no. These are side kicks. Okay. I enjoyed every one of these in the movie, but this is the way I'm putting it in. Okay. Okay. Next level? See, it's not you and I arguing the list. He's <laughs> arguing our list. <laughs> Who do you got? Okay, for B level. B level. I've got Kato. Okay, I have Kato. Yeah. Um, I've got Goose. And I've got Anigo Montoya. Ooh, very close. So I, I, had, I had Kato. I have Samwise in this one. And I also put Donkey. I really enjoy Donkey and everything, but uh, I think he's middle of, the, middle of the road. He was there for the humor. Does he push the story forward? Not so much, so I, I, I put him in there. Okay. All right, next. A level now. A level. Second from the top. I've got Robin. I have Robin. I've got do Donkey. Guys, do you guys distinguish between which Robins or just the idea of the character of Robin. In this case, I took the idea of Robin. Yeah. More than the... Because I've seen the cartoons and I've seen the movies, so I took I, them I, all into one. I took Robin in the aspect of a sidekick. So I'm not Teen Titans, because he's the leader of the group in Teen Titans. He's not the sidekick. So only when it comes to Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. So I took Robin. So I took, you both have Robin in yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I took Donkey, okay, and I took Genie from Aladdin. Okay, okay. Uh, so I had I had Robin as well. I put Chewie in here. Uh, he does push the story forward, and he's with Han Solo the whole time, fighting side by side. Does he push the story forward? He does. Remember, <laughs> I, he does. No explanation needed. He he's in more. It, <laughs> think of the flat, other other movies. He's there when uh, what is it? Plan 66, Order 66, Order 66 goes into effect. He's there with with uh, Yoda. And there's a lot of stuff that like he's, he's there. there. He's Yeah, he's there. He's <laughs> and true. he protects Yoda, etc. He pushes the story forward in a way. You make a good point. Yeah, he's yeah. there. Yeah. And I have Trinity. Okay. Because she's, she's one of the main... If you look at the last movie of... In, what, it, Revelations? See, I, I look at her as just more of a love interest than a sidekick. But she wasn't a love interest, really, in those movies. You don't think? No, I don't think so. I thought she was another hero. Yeah, no, hey. she's a love interest. <laughs> <laughs> Reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our okay, top. Super level. Chewbacca. Okay. I got Chewie. I got Spock. I have Spock. Okay. And I got Dr. Watson. And the reason I chose all three of these were because you can't think of the main character without thinking of these sidekicks, right? So you can't think of Han Solo without thinking of Chewbacca. You can't think of Captain Kirk without thinking of Spock. And you can't think of Dr. Watson without thinking of Sherlock Holmes. Okay. Well, I also had Dr. Watson. So Spock and Watson. And I put Genie here. Almost the same thing. You can't think of Aladdin without thinking Genie. Uh, Genie doesn't only push the story forward, he creates the story. Yeah. With his magic. Like, there is no Aladdin cartoon without Genie. Without Genie. Genie. No. Uh, no. So, yeah, I, I have Spock, Watson, and Genie as my number one sidekicks okay. of all time. So, now, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked last time. Is there somebody you put as the top sidekick that you enjoyed somebody in D level more than the S level? Um, I'm like, I like, for example, Dr. Watson? Like, I couldn't, I couldn't give one care about Dr. Watson. But he might still be in the S level. Yeah, like I think that an Eagle Mantoya, I enjoyed watching more than, well, maybe Chewbacca or Dr. Watson. Now, Dr. Watson 
what which Dr. Watson are you thinking of? Just the idea of the Dr. Watson. Okay. See, I, I'm thinking of the Sherlock series when I think Dr. Watson. The BBC one? Yeah. yeah. And he was good. It was, yeah. Mind you, Inigo Montoya is like eight levels above that for mm -hmm. enjoyment. Mm -hmm. See, I might drop somebody like Cato down a little further. While it's Bruce Lee and everything, his character was more there just to show some action more than anything. Uh, Sam Wise, I thought was too over the top. Mr. Mr. Brodo, Mr. You know that kind of thing. But other than that, I think I'm okay with my list. Yeah. Would yeah. you have Would you have included Gandalf on this list as a sidekick? No, he wasn't a sidekick. No, he was more of a, a next, a next a sort of a next level hero or a narrator, yeah. almost right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one you guys agreed way more than the other one. You got six yeah. the same and less choices. Yeah. So, yeah, good for us. High five. Eh. <laughs> Loser. It's like high school all over again. <sighs> all right. How did you guys do? How do you think our lists are? I'm pretty sure a lot of people put Watson and Spock as number one on their list just because they're classic, classic sidekicks. Let us know in the comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you on the channel.